seconds. All right, got it. Summer solstice, longest day of the year. Light worker family is here. I'm just going to share this out while Phil tells us a poem about the about the event. So part of this is I've changed the words, and part of it isn't mine. So the summer solstice is a time of the year when the arc of the sun at, at its highest in the northern hemisphere. The day is longer than any other help us to become more sensitive to the life-giving energy of the sun, become more aware of belonging to our world and even the universe of the flower of life. Alive, wondrous in its density, its beauty, its intent. And that's Sophie. <laughs> ringing me. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Sophie was sure. ringing me. Thank you, Sophie. Sophie. Where is Coming. she? Where is she's, she? She's phoning me. <laughs> oh, tell her to tell her to join. Become more doing? aware of belonging to. Oh, shall I read it again. But hey, it's time to open up Sophie. Let's get her on here. <laughs> she's <laughs> let's let's crack her open. <laughs> uh, that's very difficult. I know we've been trying for years. <laughs> Become more aware of belonging to our world and even the universe of the flower of life. Alive, wondrous in its diversity, its beauty, its intensity, its deep spiritual, the spring awakening of life now gives way to the summer season of full bloom. These are represented by the seeds that were planted in the soul manifesting the abundance of, of gifts. Uh, from Gara, Gara, help us to envisage the miracle of life to receive these wonderful gifts of source. Is that okay? Yay. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Nice one, Phil. Yeah. So, um, my favorite bunny that um, lives under my deck, I promised it because it. Um, I had a conversation with it this about like maybe a month ago, right? And then it started telling me about how it has a couple kids, um, how the father got um, uh, passed away. It was an unfortunate accident. But um, so here I am I'm talking to a bunny, right? I'm talking to a bunny. And I'm like, how does a bunny understand English? And, um, but I said to myself, you know what? It's spirit, right? It's, so there's this universal language must, it must just be the way, same way that Arcturians speak to you in English or whoever, right? Um, so the, um, so, so I think to myself, hmm, did I really talk to this bunny and have this conversation? So about a week later, I'm, see the bunny and it's way at the end of the fence and whenever me or the kids if we walk up to this bunny or the or the other bunnies they take off they just take off they don't get they never get really close to us right they always keep their distance they're on high alert um all the time and and so i'm sitting there i see the bunny i'm sitting on my steps it's about 100 feet away and so i'm like okay you know what I'm just, I got to prove this to myself that this conversation actually happened, right? Like, cause it's, it's telling me this is the time where people are going to start talking to nature and all this stuff is going to happen. I'm like, I, I got to prove this to myself that this wasn't just in my head. So I lock in with my third eye and my mind to the bunny and I'm talking to it. I'm like, Hey, this conversation happened. I would really like to see you. If you could come to me and come up to me and come to me. And, and so I can see you and we can say, hello, and no word of a lie, two seconds after sending that transmission, the bunny's hopping, 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 going closer to me, going closer to me. It goes within one foot of me, grabs a piece of leafy grass, grass or also known as a weed. <laughs> I, I need to weed my grass more, I guess. But it grabs it, and it's just eating the, the leafy grass, and it's just looking at me. And I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you for that confirmation. So I've seen it. I've seen it outside, and... Um, it's um, said hello as on my way in here to this event. So it really goes to show uh, all these things that we've been channeling and thinking that are going to be happening with the things like getting closer to animals, um, the things with the planet shifting and the ascension and these big energies coming in from now until July and all this uh, eventually leading up to like an inner or an external event combination of them both where all the collective wakens up during this global awakening that's happening right now. It's such a large scale. And um, this, uh, 
banned. I got banned for sharing. So I, I know there's been over the last month, a lot of light missions that we've been going on because it's such an important time um, in the Ascension process. There has been some um, crazy, like, ah, so fake. <laughs> um, there has been some crazy light and, and dark, um, you know, if you want to call them cleansing out the old energies um, that's been going on, um, on a big scale, biggest, I've never seen it ever at a scale like this. Um, and, um, what the collective awakening is providing some confusion energies to people. Some have been, been reporting it's hard for them to connect and, this and that has been going on and um so it's going to be very interesting to see what happens on the summer solstice i know this is going to be some kind of a, a mission some kind of an event with the light family coming together here but it's it's definitely exciting and i am honored for everybody who's watching for everybody who's on this call for everybody who's going to assist um here today on this magical day of june the 21st does anybody want to chat about how um, how things have been for them energetically in the last month before we um, get going on our yeah or, or, or anything they've done today yeah Carolyn how have you been what's what's new Australia's in the house wow <laughs> yeah Australia so we're here on the morning of the twenty second so it's eight a.m. so I feel that right now we're we're realigning the, the poles. And that's a big part of um, my position here. And I've really started to understand who I am in the last few days, which is pretty amazing. Um, wow, just coming on this call, I just had the, so many heart palpitations as it's been for weeks. Um, it's amazing here in Australia. I can see, I can see the changes. I, try, I don't hang out with other people. I'm just by myself. So. I just do my thing and I'm in the capital of Australia for a reason because it's a very dark place. So, yeah, holding the light here. But I know Excellent. big things, big, big, big things are about to change. Yes, massive. For sure. How have you been feeling yourself going through all these crazy upgrades in the last couple of months? It's intense, but I see the bigger picture. I see the whole new system coming online. That's what I carry within me. It's the blueprint for the tree of life. Beautiful. And that's what we're realigning right now, the poles. And this blueprint is what's going to bring everything in. So I have, for the past two and a half years, been creating all those branches for the tree of life. They're now coming in. That's what's coming forward. Myself and my twin aligning. Oh, fantastic. He's literally on the flip side carrying the dark. Yeah. He sees me the opposite to what I am. Him flipping is going to flip everything. We are the twin flame separation and we hold the tree of life template and we're here to guide everyone forward. Are you saying that no, it's because it, are you saying it's because of you that people aren't reunited from to their twin flames? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Pretty much, you know, we've been married for 23 years. 23 years ago, we got married. I was 23 years old. My birthday is the 23rd of July. My daughter's now 23 years old. It's all aligning. Everything is flipped. So, yes, we have fought through every single separation and trauma that this planet has experienced to bring it all back to union. So, yes, yeah, awesome. Thank you so much. Full on and amazing. And thank you, everyone, for all so, the work you're doing. So great that catching up with you, Carolyn. It's been a while. I know. Hey, didn't you go into hell with us to, re to retrieve the souls that one time? Were you there? I think you um, were there. I, I wasn't. I wasn't. I was actually told not to be there, but I, was, oh, I knew okay. that you were doing it and I was <clears> included. <throat> like, I feel everything that goes through, it, it goes through me. I don't know how to explain it. That was a crazy mission. Toro, it's been a few weeks. Unity series got finished channeling. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Um, I've been finding it up and down. Sometimes it's, it's a lot of emotions coming to that need clearing. Um, a lot of dreams, a lot, quite a lot of dreams coming. Um, and at the moment, I feel great. 
But then a few days ago, I wasn't feeling too great. So it's up and down. It's just been up and down. But I've actually started um, going back to Unity Series and doing some of the stuff that we did to go back into it. Because I've got time now to do it. So, yeah. Oh, fantastic. That's great. Are you on a holiday again? Um, in a few days. <laughs> oh, so close. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just a few gosh. days. Yeah, two weeks. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Woo-hoo. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah, it's going to redo the whole Unity Series. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. That's great to hear. Yeah, I know a lot of people have, um, from what I've seen, even myself, I've been tested um, in the last number of days as well, um, removing some old limited beliefs, that kind of stuff, shadow work at its finest. Um, So, you know, we are all being tested. Not everybody. There are some people who are in a very nice space right now and they're looking good all the time. I can say that. Sally Love, how are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. Good, eh? I'm good. Yeah, it's been a wild ride, but um, right now, <laughs> I'm good. Nice. Yeah. That's fantastic. Um, Phil, how has the last few months been for you? Guess where I was on Sunday. You're, you're, all, you're always on these Orion missions. <laughs> so, like, you know, he's, he secretly, even though he says that he always goes on these different, like, um, battling dark forces and stuff like that, he secretly has an affinity for Orion, and that is where he's going to be spending his next life, and he's just making sure that everything is, the energies are as good as they can be so that he doesn't have to do any more work once ever the ascension happens. <laughs> uh, I, I've, I, Dave, I've actually connected to my uh, aspect. He was king of Orion. So there you go. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not a good one. <laughs> uh, you know what? Maybe that's why you're doing the clearing work. You're actually clearing your own conscience. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What, what, what have you been doing then, Dave? Well, apart from all the missions with you, um, I've just been really focusing on collective work everywhere I go. I'm opening up my heart to Sophia energies. If I'm in an airport, I'm connecting with everybody in the airport and I'm just helping them all waking, merging the divine mother with everybody, wherever I go now, basically where the, when it's like a public gathering, I'll just bring in, open right up, connect to divine mother, just drop her in everybody because um can do that now so it's um i've been doing a lot of collective stuff with working with sophia christ basically um and then my own shadow work basically like so i've been going through some things uh, when they come up and i process them fast and get through them so and then of course the unity series retreats coming up and then planning for that and then um releasing the unity series um, we're about to market the embody the series and uh, embody the master series so that's exciting that's going to start next week but it's been a lot of collective work and then some usually i always always do like maybe like 80 percent self-work maybe 20 percent collective work but in the last month and a half to two months it has been 95 percent collective work five percent self basically so it's been quite the shift which means everything is just gearing up here like everything is gearing up for the whole collective for this moment um or for this timeline for this time so i know today's mission is important sophie i know you're there sophie (laughs) Sophie. hi hello how are you doing sophie i'm good thank you i've got nothing to report though Sophie is the sweetest person in the world. She's always doing so much with editing videos and editing everything, all these light missions that we do. Um, She's always, she's just so kind to help out the uh, light workers. And um, so thank you so much, Sophie, for having such a big heart. You're welcome. It's good to see you on the call. To listen, listen, Monica. Yeah, yeah. Kath, what's up, Kath? 
Hi. Hi. Hello. In the house. Hello. Uh, yeah, I've been a million different emotions. Um, um, it's been a roller coaster, I would say, but either extreme highs or not even lows. It's just been heavy, quite dense energies. And physically, I've been feeling it as well. Like headaches and stomach things, which I don't normally struggle with, but have been. And I've been required to hold space a lot and support friends who are going through different traumas at the minute. So it's all stuff coming up for them. Um, so, yeah, what else? What else? Um, been working with the dragons and doing some healing and good work there with them. But just, yeah, trying to navigate my way through these new energies, really, because they have been very intense these past few weeks. Yes, they have been. There's a lot of desperation going on right now with some of the darker forces. Um, <clears throat> they just keep trying to move over. Those, I, can, I keep saying it, but there's a lot of um, diversion energy as well. Uh, this stuff I should be doing, but I keep getting diverted over here or over there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Stay in your path. Stay focused on what's in front of you. It's the best thing that you can do right now. Yeah, it's a bit. Yeah. It's you're not until you know what until you recognize what's happening. You go. Right. Okay. It's about managing my time I give to others versus doing stuff for myself, which has been not in balance as it were. Love yourself. Do treat yourself. You know, it sounds like you need to go to a spa and then get your nails yeah, and your hair done. And yeah. Yeah. Oh no, I've been having lots of fun these past few weeks, but um, yeah. but it's all diversions again. It's been fantastic, but I need to get my spiritual balance back again yeah well it's still good to have fun i mean it's like I've been uh, having loads of fun. That's the problem. yeah hey that's great <laughs> that's not a problem that is not a problem that's fantastic i've been having fun too uh, i've been Excellent. doing some karaoke and um seeing some friends catching up wherever i go though i'm gridding i'm doing grid work it's just wonderful it's always... i mean i went to see queen recently a band locally which is quite amazing do you know queen Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. I was in your neck of the wood, Phil. Yeah. Well, it's like Manchester. Yeah, Manchester. <laughs> the arena there, which is amazing. My, my daughter over the weekend went to see uh, Elton John, actually. Oh, right, yeah. Any good? Yeah, at Liverpool. Yeah, I, I could have gone, but I was teaching. So. Oh, that's a shame. But you. interestingly enough, I, I didn't know which was the Ariane Grande arena because I've not been through it either with the arenas in Manchester but as mm. soon as I went into that arena I could feel the fear mm. it, only in the bottom of the, the, the bowels of the arena but I could definitely feel it it was powerful mm. in the main arena it was fine but downstairs there was deep fear still there awful yeah I think this year the dark forces are really losing track and they're really trying to get the energies back but they can't do it no, but it was. They, they not, I could feel it. Yeah, so I was trying to transmute it. But, you know. Yeah, they're trying to. They're trying to like shift timeline so drag it out. Mm. <sighs> of course, who wouldn't though? If we were the dark ones, we would do the same thing. Ithalar, been a few Hi. weeks. How you doing? I'm trying to doing fine. You look like you're nice and nice and rested. You've been sleeping good. Uh, yeah, sleeping and all the time in my bed because I'm left pain, but yeah. I'm better. Yeah, you look Thank like you. you're you're renewed in a bit, but the pain maybe we'll uh, do some healing work here tonight as well as this mission. We connect to some healing fields for anybody who's watching that is in pain or sick. Yes, Vic I hope not. Oh, Vic. Sorry. Vic, yeah. your, your your mic's on, right? Yeah. So, so you were away, um, you went traveling, and then you've recently gotten back. How has it been for you in the last couple of months, energetically? Um, I worked a lot. I on the connection. I I started to um, study uh, the Christ letter in this last period. Have you le le read them? Um, no, I can't uh, it's very really yeah. interesting because it's um, it's uh, is uh, really leading to a new dimension um, of uh, 
light, mm -hmm. which is really uh, go going together with what we do. Cool. Really, be honest. I mean, it makes sense. Christ of light, the Christ of letters, letters, um, symbols, yeah. light language. Yeah, in English, in English, I, I can send you the, the, the link if you want. Um, it's, a, it's a very interesting book, actually. And uh, Can you put the link uh, in the comments of the video so other people can check it out? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Great. Um, okay, let, let me... Let we me... don't have to do it right now, just like, you know... Oh, okay. It doesn't I have to be will, like right at the second. Yeah. No, it's just a kind of. Uh, Did you get it into the comments yet? Have you done that? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's no, like the, the quickest uh, ever. Yeah, it's it, uh, it just uh, um, it tell me to keep under control uh, the negativity actually that uh, is going on around me. Uh, not only around me, but in the world in general, and um, it really helped me to um, to focus on uh, the love vibration and develop more on that in that sense. In um, uh, I've been uh, up and down. I find uh, in the, the this period is not easy uh, for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I go up and down, but uh, uh, since I am applying more, uh, I think we should call uh, it the helico the helicopter period because everybody's always going up and down. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The helicopter but, period of ascension. But, but since, uh, I, 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 I'm more grateful for whatever, really. Mm -hmm. um, my so energy important. level is uh, uh, going better and better. Great. That's great to hear. Great yeah, to hear. that's how I've been in the last uh, two months. Um, I even... Uh, travel until UK after four years I'm not moving um, uh, yeah yeah I, I'm very proud of myself actually because um, yeah. for me it's not easy um, to to go out or to meet people and uh, I find very difficult uh, the, uh. the human a lot of people do though i mean the more that we advance the more that we expand the more that you know you just got to um you just got to get out there and enjoy what earth has to offer um so that you can relate with everybody else um jillian did you want to share at all how things are going it's been a while a couple missions ago you got me yep hey can you hear me hello yeah, yeah. Happy day, everybody. Um, yeah. <laughs> things are, um, like, I'm fine mentally myself. I'm over it all. I'm kind of bored. I just came for the um, card readings that Phil does pretty much and the snacks, but um, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, um, thank you for that image last night. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> um, but I just uh, do my music still. Um, I am dealing with a lot of attacks. And that's probably the most ridiculous part. I'm sick of them. Um, like physical attacks on the, like the back of my head. And like, uh, there's like, there's just like, um, let's see. Uh, let's just call it AI with sensors and needles and globs of bullshit that has claws and tries to come through my skin. And um, can't beat it yet, but I'm going to, but I'm just sick of that. So the attacks suck, but if it weren't for the attacks, I would be fine. Um, so I just build pyramids and do crafts. Uh, and I built a stargate in my backyard. I had some extra wood and I've got a friend hanging out and staying with me. And um, I said, wouldn't it be cool if we had a stargate? And we built a fence and then I woke up and there was a stargate in the back. So if anybody has any design choice question or design choice, um, 
suggestions or colors. We were thinking of making it like um, with like musical tones. We have to think it out, uh, transcending with sound, things like that. But um, yeah, that's where I'm at. Awesome. Well, at least you're doing the good things and yeah. enjoying and doing the music. And have you have you used um, the stargate yet? Um, not yet. It's not done yet. <laughs> but right. when I when we were building it in the middle of my backyard, luckily the city didn't write us a ticket. <laughs> um, we were getting all these like really cool uh, birds, and they were kind of like the bird watchers, and they were like making funny sounds. Or I don't know if they were all like thinking like, oh, that's a cool perch, or like maybe we're gonna shit on it. I don't know. But um, there's a lot of cool birds hanging out by the Stargate. And yeah, it's still in design processes. Have you used it yet, Phil? I haven't used yours. <laughs> OK. <laughs> but, you put, but yeah, it's, it's next to like my, my waterfall. Um, and that's a portal. So I don't know how the portal is going to feel about it. But we'll find out. That's where I'm at in life. It, building a stargate and that's where i'm at that's what life's helping me to do so cool that's awesome stargates so, yeah. sounds yeah. like you're, you're building an actual physical one but is it, I, is, I, and I mean, it, it if you guys want to see the preview everybody could blast it or something yeah go on okay um okay so Okay. So that's the start of it. <laughs> oh, cool. Very creative. Yeah, why not? Excellent. Cool. Now, don't forget it to program it to your aspects, your aspect codes. You just don't want anybody flying through there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I might put like tuning forks or crystals in it um have it more like a more be like a sound experience than a typical stargate i don't know i'm inventing new things and now i'm back in the air conditioning because it's hot yeah yeah so shall we see get into a meditative state maybe and we'll see what this light mission's all about shall we do some breathing exercise yeah yeah let's yeah. do some breathing oh. um did you want to do you want to kick that off? Yeah, go on then. It, what we're trying to do is breathe from that heart chakra. So if we do a deep breath from the nose, right down, right down, and then just breathe a third of it out and then breathe again. Just do about 10 of these. Are we there yet? Right, Dave, where are we going? The universe. Um, just connecting. Uh... I think I think if if any can merge with an I aspect, if we can, yeah, I'm merging with um, pa partially merging. Um, if anybody wants to connect their pillar of light, you can just breathe in golden light through your crown, exhale it through your chakras, and just feeling in the energy as well, expanding it, and then we'll connect unity fields. So right, our our fields our down here. Where's that coming from? I've done it. Okay. So our energies will be a cumulative effect um, and a big field um, of light. Okay. 
So we're definitely, we're gonna be going into diamond source. Um, so what we're just gonna do is just focus your breath into your heart chakra. And then as you exhale, just let go of any worries, any fears, anything that's been bothering you. I know some people are having some health complications. Just let it go. Right now we're gonna to connect to some healing fields. There we go. We're bringing in healing light right now for anybody who's going through sickness. Uh, anybody who's watch, watch, watching. Bringing that in, that energy. I'm just going to ask high, higher selves to allow that to continue. Sorry, what's that, Phil? It's a good time to surrender any anger, any past, any trauma in your life. Release it to this light. There's something going on in front of the Sphinx in Egypt right now. I'm just tuning into it. There's a gathering. I don't know if people are there right now for the solstice if they're doing a ceremony. This is what I'm seeing, but I know it's important. Uh, Okay, I'm just going to channel what is going on here. Ceremony of life. So there's something going on in the halls of the Menti. They're connecting with the halls of the Menti. They actually want us to assist them. Interesting. Uh, okay. All right. So we're going to connect unity fields with these people out in uh, Egypt in front of the Sphinx. Let's see what they're doing. Consciousness. They bring in their consciousness. Oh, some kind of a wall. This must be in the halls of Dementi. All right. All right. So we're going to just bring our awareness, our attention. We're going to call in all of our aspects who are for highest good to come in Galactic Councils of Light. Um, everybody's higher selves to merge with them. And to assist in seeing what's going on here in the halls of the Menti. We're just going to tune in. Dave, are you picking up some sort of energy during today? I'm just seeing that there are some beings in here that started messing with the Hall of Records. Um, for some reason, they're doing some kind of a curse of sorts on here. So I think people are trying to figure this out right now um, to clear it. I'm being guided to go to Origins inside Solar, inside solar uh, Light. So I'm just going to quickly connect with the sun. And going in, showing to do here. The, dra fields. The, the dragons can help. The holy families, the holy families are here. Family of the roses. Um, we are connecting to the light, families of the light, the hearts. We're going to release this together. There's a curse, an ancient curse. Uh, 
David, can I just do some light language here and bring something in? Yeah. There's a goddess, they sacrificed a goddess in ancient Egypt um, yes. through blood sacrifice, retrieving her. I think it was Isis, but it might have been like Nef. Um, yes, it was me. South, east, and west. North, south, east, west, and then work. No, on the in the end of our photo, on the other. Okay. There's more to this plot. Um, something off planet. Hmm, how interesting. They've connected something to this curse. Somewhere else, and it might be Mars, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm just going to tune in. Okay, hold on. My families would like just to be here, just to be here, just to be here, to clear all of this, just to clear all this. We don't even have to focus too much we just connect with the families of light to clear all this because it isn't it's on earth and off earth at the same time it's a double ritual that happened um split the galactic consciousness vibrant flame time we've low. Also, sun energy. Yes, the Luciferian rule. Um, so when this came in, this was a sacrifice. This was a sacrifice of, of a god, of well, extraterrestrial, um, highly advanced being of light. Um, she was not only brought into four directions, but she was brought into two different planets. So we're just retrieving, breaking the curse retrieving off soul fragments it's so strange this is such a crazy mission uh, basically we're just bringing in lights 
Um, again, the families of light surround these areas here. One of them is like in, in this like it it it, it kind of looks like it like the taverns or the caves of Mars, if you want to call them that. Very like red and very dark, very dense energy. But the families of light, we're just illuminating it all right now, and just to clear it. Um, they're 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 bringing in the dr dragon energy as well, but they're clearing out this whole cavern. It's the tombs of Mars, <clears throat> it's the tombs of Mars. Um, just clearing it out, or the catacombs, if you want to call them that. Let's just flood out, clear out all the density on Mars right now. Let's clear out all the density with this light, lift up, lift the light, bringing the light throughout the core of Mars. Raising up all the frequencies of Mars right now. Christ, the Christ of light, the Christ of light with the families of light. And we'll also clear the halls of the Menti at the same time with the families of light, lifting this curse up. Forgive them, just to forgive them, forgive them, forgive them, release them, release them. Okay, now this big bright light just came in here. It's hard to see at the moment. Solar, solar light, solar crisis light. Okay, so they're stabilizing the frequencies of the raising of Mars. Um, is there anything we're supposed to do with Mars? A lot of lost souls on Mars. Yeah. Let's receive for soul fragments. Let's talk to, I'm going to talk to the consciousness of Mars for a sec. The, the planet itself. Uh, protected i have the family the wings and angelic beings with me here they're coming in to negotiate or to discuss or to learn something about mars um, just going into the core of it's kind of like gaia's version of mars um, Unicorns are here to assist to keep the frequencies strong and protection. No, oh, it's a cleanse. They're bringing in a cleanse right now. They're cleansing a, a look at that. They're bringing in a major cleanse to Mars. Unicorn Collective has got the key to unlock uh, a universal ascension within our planetary ascension. Uh, okay, so they're going to open up the heart of the core of Mars. It's so much density around it. They're clearing it, healing it. It's been subject to so much more, way more than we have any ideas. Okay, I'm getting flashes now of all these um, dark beings on the planet. Um, slave trading, galactic slave trading. Uh, healing, healing, forgive him, forgive him. Calling on these uh, crystal cash record keeper. Oh God, I'm gonna do shadow work on this. Okay, forgive, forgive them, forgive all the hearts, forgive all the hearts, heal the souls, retrieve the fragments, heal the souls, retrieve the fragments, heal the souls, forgive them, release them, all in all dimensions of this, all timelines of this, throughout all this. Uh, was, Mars was a trade planet before. It was a trade planet in this system at one point, but it got taken over. Okay, clearing, healing, releasing, forgiving, open up the hearts. Clear, 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 clear. Let's bring this. It's a Mars clearing mission. Uh, so this is going to help out Earth as well. Um, well, it's everything's so related, but so birthing, birth frequency now. Oh my God. 
I can feel that. You know, you know, Dave, I can see the wall that happened on Mars. You can actually see it. Yeah, it's been pretty insane. There's been so many crazy battles on Mars. Trains are wanting to connect. assist you to understand what this means for the universe. There are many and many on earth at the core who are affected by these timelines, the reptilians, the draconians, and different beings who've reincarnated, who are unaware. You're assisting them to release this. It'll shift the planet. It'll shift the consciousness, the guilt, opening up love, energies, it's beings who are asleep, who are dark, as you say, they will awake by this release. This is important for the collective, for the frequency of earth, for this healing. Thank you for assisting. We are assisting you to release this for all, tune into our heart frequencies. Okay. What do you mean heart? Oh, wow. Holy, that's a massive energy they're bringing over us right now. All right, let's direct some of that over to Mars to help heal. done that is done we may continue on galactics ladians arturians lyrans they are here they are all here okay uh, right store the records Okay, well, you guys want to just take care of that and you can restore the records. All right, going back down into the halls of Lamenti. Tuning in. And just traveled through here. Ships. They're coming through here. What are they doing? It's a restoration, an energetic restoration. Uh, they have fleets, energetic consciousness ships coming through, doing an energetic restoration in the halls of Amenti. Uh, uh, know what that means uh something to do with the records everything's just frequency in here okay it's just all this frequency you know, looking at the uh i can see there's been a big clearing now so whatever this curse has been definitely up dissolved removed um they're clearing out they're clearing out there's a lot of darkness coming from um, from this release it's just being clear you don't have to it's not coming into anybody's field here they're clearing it out and uh, clearing it out clearing it out clearing it out They are using etheric crystals just to uh, make wave wave light on the on the records to bring in information. Um, it is intelligent light. It is a technology that these um, energetic beings have. This one is an energetic lyran being. It's just like a 
almost like a flashlight or a crystal flashlight and it just has waves and it shoots out the waves onto the records and then the waves contain information. Um, well, that's interesting, I guess. Okay, so let's go to the Sphinx. Under the Sphinx, um, there's also a porta, portal into Gaia here. It's connecting to it right now. It's pure love, pure love frequency. Let's just, just open this up for everybody. I think we're ready. Okay, going in, opening up, bringing this light up. For everybody now. Yeah. And they're in. They're connecting. They must be connecting from the inner earth. Does this come from inner earth? Oh, I had no idea. Okay, I'm just going deep now. It's good. Oh, so beautiful. That's why these energies are so loving. It's coming from um, inner earth reality. Oh, so beautiful. All right, so we're just connecting with the Lemurians, the, the, the ancient priestesses and priests of Lemuria, the hearts of Lemurians in the inner earth right now. They are obviously working with all these amazing, um, just the most magnificent blue that you could, like the deepest Mediterranean blue crystal. Like it's just so amazing. Um, uh, but they with many different kinds. Um, so healing light, bringing in the healing light, um, as well as the love energies from inner earth. Let's just connect this energies to the pyramid network and connect it up to the grids that way. Perfect. Dale, did you want to do any connections here to um, any of the other uh, crystals on um, Earth? You read my mind. <laughs> That's what I'm actually doing. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, uh, the crystals underneath are about 100 foot high. Just connecting them all up. They're already connected, but I'm just, uh, just li linking to linking to the actual crystal. So I'm actually... Uh, Joined with my crystal source being and becoming part of the grid. They have centers in uh, inner earth. There's a center being holding up this red crystal and it is this most magnificent red and it has this golden tip to it. Um, yeah, that's a beautiful frequency. Sorry, there's no mystical beings that are assisting with us right now. Okay. So we'll just go ahead and we'll send all this beautiful love and anchor this light. And we'll just might as well breathe it in and allow it to integrate because it's only going to expand and activate all of your energies. And as you exhale, we'll just imagine sending it across the planet, wrapping the earth with this beautiful golden red and all the colors of the rainbow but it's just it's really just amazing of course there's within it there's this beautiful blue and this white light as well this um, okay so that this curse had an actual block on it on um some of um the abilities to connect and deeply with the inner earth um, so there's definitely going to be um, the higher uh, fields of, of vibrations coming through on earth because of this being lifted just from inner earth as well. Uh, that's interesting. Man, this is so crazy. Uh, Agarthans are connecting right now. We have the Galactics, we have the Agarthans, we have the Lumerians. This is a big thing that's going on at the moment. The Fae, the Fae's are coming in. 
um, you, literally there's like all the magic realms. We had the, le <clears throat> the leprechauns, um, we had the um, this, uh, unicorns. Um, it's literally uh, everything is here. Families of light, divine mother, What is that? An ancient symbol of sorts. The Trinity and for the third eye. I don't know. It's so weird. This Trinity. Solar Trinity, sorry, it's a, sun, it's a sun symbol. It's like three suns, the eyes of three suns, the eyes of three suns opening, opening and expanding into our light field right now. This is a, a crazy frequency that's coming in. Lions. King. Of the lions. Oh, that's a big light. This is going to be upgrading chakras for people. So completing a genetic sequence. Look at that. It's a code to complete the, a genetic sequence in the human DNA. If it is more, I think this is like a completion of a 24 strand um, for the collective. Yeah, just, Dave, I'm just going off uh, on a little mission of my own. Uh, the light grid has been uh, infiltrated a little bit. So I'll, I'll see, speak to you later. <clears throat> um, yeah, you know what? I totally forgot about that. Um, so while we're here, let's go ahead and clear out all the false dimensions on this planet. Clear them out. And purify all hidden dimensions, all dimensions where any um, beings hide in that are not serving the light. Let's just clear and purify them out. I think what they were doing, Dave, this sounds weird. I think they were using our own light grid, our consciousness, to put implants in us. Yeah, we were always wondered where they come from. Right. Well, we are literally connected with all the ancients right now as well. All the ancients are coming in. Bring them back, bring them back, bring them back. Some old Removing some dark players, just removing them out. Okay, these ones, all of these ones, just clear them out. Golden dragons coming in to assist.
Uh, even the heart of the snake. Uh, the old serpent. Same time, there's a uh, healing that's happening here. It's a uh, consciousness evolution of sorts. It's very much tied into this um, universal structure and being that will we'll begin to assist now. It's been playing both roles, um, but not of the highest good. So now. It's changing. This is kind of a crazy mission, to be honest with you. Um, uh, but I'm not entirely surprised at the same time. Golden rod. Does anybody not have the golden rod? Yeah, you do. Okay. Well, this is good. Oops. Yield. That was done. That was a very old being, man. Holy smokes. That person was weird. That person was really old, 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 um, who has been in a, in a polarity role. Um, since there's been polarity on this planet, I think. Um, he, just, he just evolved and went back into the light. And his dark codes got removed. That was interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Okay, so what else are we supposed to do over here? Ships, galactic ships. There are many of them, light ships. And they're removing an old template from the grids. Um, well, it's tying people down to earth in a way, um, or into polarity in a way. Um, the Galactics are working on the grids right now. They're doing an upgrade. Uh, so that's fine. I was just, I don't know if this is, if this is the completion of the mission, I'm not sure. Let's connect with Sophia. Back into the solar sun. Okay. So we'll just go into the sun. In the sun. Many many rebirthing energies, this beautiful, beautiful rainbow light. It is like, um, it is like, uh, it's got this magnificent like light orange in it as well. This beautiful green, but it's a lot lighter of a rainbow. Like it's just more of a purity light. Um, it is a new frequency that's coming in right now. Um, so it's gonna merge with the sun and help send it out. So all, all of our energies are merged right now. We're merging with this new solar frequency that's coming in. Send it across the planet, all grids clearing, healing, upgrading systems, releasing fear from the collective, all that. So settling in higher vibrations to the grids. This goddess, this goddess is here, the one that we retrieved from two different places. 
She is powerful. She is. Bringing this frequency in. Interesting. Okay. Wow. Some serious God consciousness going on right now, guys. This is a being I've never seen before. And she is just like, Jesus, all star of light beings. We're raising the frequency of the collective right now. She's raising our frequency. She's sending light over us right now. She's raising our frequency. She's raising our core light right in the solar plexus or above the root. She's clearing out from some people's fields. She's raising the vibrations of everyone's field. The vibration itself before there even was light, it's a creation. This one. Yeah. She's just doing all these crazy things on the grids. Uh, it's just I think it's, uh, all the all the ancient symbols, sacred geometry in the highest, brightest, golden Christ of light. You can sell them. All right. Um, all right, so what else do we have to do? Call back all that was yours. Ancient codes are coming in. Stuff that, um, so energies that are yours, activations that are yours, gifts that are yours to call them back now as this codex is coming in. So if anybody just wants to mentally or just to say it, that you call back, all that is yours, all your codes, all your activations, all your energies, all that, that is yours from all time and space and, and then retrieving the, all that is yours and just allow them to come into your field of light. And um, solar beams take over Mars. I think that's it, though. So I think we'll just call back our consciousness as well. We'll call back our consciousness from all time and space, all of our consciousness to come back because we were in the sun as well. And we we're also in the Sphinx in the halls of the Menti. We're just calling back all of our consciousness, everybody's consciousness to come back to them come back to them um it's a very interesting mission so we'll disconnect unity fields at this point and then we'll just ask all of our guides and our galactic beings that are aspects of self to continue on um, whatever needs to come upgrades for us in the days and weeks ahead so that's good that's probably why i lit a candle
interesting. That was a very interesting one. Very interesting. So when you're ready to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, open your eyes, feel free to share in your experience. Um, Carolyn, what did you think of that? I'm not sure I want to share. Oh my God. Um, yeah, that was the separation coming together. <laughs> that ancient being was my twin that was trapped, that's been playing the polarity. That one was an old being, yes. I think I was the goddess you were calling me. I was told that that's what happened in um, Egypt when um, Isis and Osiris um, were split and it caused the split between the male and the female. Yeah, the male. That's what it seemed like, female. except for it seemed female like. Female was blamed for the male, so that's what we brought back together. And this is a whole separation of everything that we've been doing, so it is the end of the mission. It, it seemed like the story got inverted, though. It seemed like, from what I saw, yeah, it was more like it, ISIS was the one that was cut and separated and everything like that, yes. four corners. Yes. And that's why I was like doing East, West, North, South, I guess. Um, yes. So the tree of life was inverted. So we've only had the top of the tree. So maybe about a year and a half ago, I felt the tree of life was like come in, come in. Like a inside and all this Christ consciousness coming out of me. But what I've realized in the past couple of days is that our earth, it's not round and it's not flat. It's a toroidal field. And so the new tree of life template is that field. That's the tree of life going up and down into the earth. So when you mentioned the male aspect coming into earth, that's because we've only got mother earth. We need mother and father earth just like you need mother and father sky. Um, so it was bringing it all back together. That was my impression. <laughs> and then whole Mars healing and cleansing, that was pretty crazy. So that was the galactic consciousness because this is the polarity. He couldn't see who he was from his galactic mm -hmm. self but he could see so much of what I could see, but still see the whole 3D aspect. And so this was the flip we needed to bring us together to see everything. Amazing. So I've had big messages that in the next few days, big things are going to start to happen, but so now I'm the voice in pain. My heart is racing like it's... I had to wait for him to come forward so that we could do it. And even the Trinity is to do with Lindsay as well and the way the three of us work with the um, with someone else I work with. She carried three the whole creation. That's what it was. It was the three of creation. Yes, Osiris and um, Isis created Horus and that was the Trinity that um, got split as well, I guess. Three sons. Um, so she has the whole of the Akashic records in her third eye downloaded and started this. So she bringing, bringing all that information to me and then we download it into her consciousness. So it comes down, you know how we've been saying the energy goes up and down, that's what actually happens. It comes in through the top of the tree and it comes right down into the consciousness. We bring in the highest information that gets inserted through the consciousness. Everyone takes that in, then that information comes back around and gets the... Um, Infinity loop we had to reconnect. So that information comes back up. We look at it and create the next highest timeline. So we're guiding everyone on that highest timeline to the highest possibility of coming with what's happening. So now we need to all come and, and we'll feel this pull to come into our soul group so that we can create the new branches of the new tree of life. And that's what we're here to do. So the divine government will work with current governments in that level and current leaders. And we will all come together now. So the split had to stop us, obviously, from coming together. So now the other half of our team, I guess, is waking up to who they truly are. 
so they're right. completely cold. I, yeah. I reckon they're all in mm. specific positions right across yeah. these leadership positions, and they're going to get working now. Yeah. Uh, anybody who's watching this, this is a, a lot of light that came in. So you might want to drink some water, maybe go for a walk and just ground. Just say, you know, if you just breathe in all the energies and exhale them out the soles of your feet, just with intention and just let them go into the earth and just feel, imagine your feet being buried in the earth and then just soils over top of your feet. And you're just grounding all this light into earth just grounding this light and um, I might as well do a grounding code as well. Enhance, amplify, expand, grounding, 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 grounding. And um, if you feel the need to go for a walk uh, immediately after this, my heart was palpitating, which I know there's upgrades coming in. So um, this is going to be an interesting few days for sure. And uh, into the earth. Walking, yeah. mm -hmm. Phil, how did you find that that one? That was different than most of the other ones. Yeah, you. I went on a slightly different mission after that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. I, I connected with my oldest aspect, which is a crystal source rainbow dragon. And uh, we took out a plasma make, uh, implant plasma making factory yeah, down Antarctica. I would have liked to have said it, but it was very intense. I'm, I'm no, I don't think I've ever been that high vibration before. So I, I, I'm just, I, I can't even hardly hear myself speaking because I'm just buzzing at the moment. So, so oh, quite, man. quite interesting. What, what yeah. the dragon does? He flips. She, sorry, she, she just told me, <laughs> she flips over and it, it releases energy through the crystals, the diamonds, to take it out. That's quite interesting. Yeah. So I missed some of yours. I'll have to see the replay. <laughs> yeah, no, that's uh, that happens a lot, and a lot of people like um, will well, say, "Well, I don't tune into the same thing. I'm being shown something else." And yeah. you know, like it's like Phil, like um, he's going on a separate mission, and that will happen. There'll be you, you. We're on the same mission, but the same there's there's also side missions within the main mission. Like what what we're doing in in the in the light grid, which is our consciousness, they're sending implants in there. And that's why you wonder, why do people get implants? Where do we come from? They were using that. I didn't know that. <laughs> so, very strange. Toral, how about you? How did you, did you feel all that crazy light? Very different, wasn't it? Compared yeah. to, yeah, I did feel it, yeah, a lot. I feel it in the heart as well. Mm -hmm. um, I do feel like going for a walk, but it's pretty I late there. Doubt I can. It's like twelve thirty, so no. You can walk around. <laughs> the, you can rock around the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that will ground me. Eh? <laughs> well, the, the the other grounding is cleaning. Like cleaning is a good grounding. I find it. You have to be inside. Or, or dancing. <laughs> dancing is dancing is good too yeah mm -hmm. do you know one of the missions at half past one i walk the dog and the dog's saying a walk now <laughs> half past one in the morning yeah <laughs> so. I'm, I'm going for a walk right now because i'm supposed to be jumping on with amy in like another 40 minutes i'm definitely going to squeeze in a walk there for sure um ithalar how about yourself it's a crazy mission honestly and um, when doing some codes and um, hard work um, mm -hmm. but i can't uh, go to walk and then and it's raining now <laughs> uh, yeah it's probably i think it's raining out here too but i don't know it's been raining for like four months already so i'm not even and a little bit more rain it doesn't even phase me anymore <laughs> just, we got one really nice sunny day in Father's Day though and it was so hot and I got to go swimming so that was cool but other than that it's been the longest winter and the most rain I've ever seen ever anyway, so you're getting rain in Mexico what about out in UK are you guys getting rain out there too I don't know. Yeah. 
Australia? Sunshine. No, sunshine. We're getting sunshine. It was up today. We've had a lot of rain on and off. Yeah. yeah. It's very cloudy. It's um, not raining now, but it looks like it's gathering. Hey, Jillian, did you want to share in how you experienced yeah, um, it was interesting you said about the completion of the 24th strand. Um, I got that pretty, pretty much yesterday, but that they're doing that in Shasta now. And um, that was on point and it didn't surprise me. There was, uh, you know, curses and things that need to be cleared. And I just hugged the being that needed, she needed released. And there's probably, who knows, more stuff like that. You know, sadly, um, the consciousness thing was interesting about the implants. It doesn't surprise me, but it's kind of helpful to complete the puzzle. And um, just the idea of bringing the new frequencies in, I feel like that's something in the direction of a hint where things are going for me and what I need to um, harness or ground. Um. I'm just going to say this intention and I'm going to go back to every other um, video we have ever done. So only the highest vibrations of love. Do you guys hear that? Yeah. What is that? Um, check one, check two. Is it still there? Yeah. What is that? So that only the highest vibrations of love are allowed to enter our fields in this video during out this whole entire work. Uh, so that nothing, only the highest vibrations of love can be in our unity field collaboration. And that goes back for all other videos we've ever done as well. Um, I always um, set those intentions, but- um, uh, Dave, apart from the one we didn't publish. <laughs> I just don't wanna talk about that mission. <laughs> <laughs> and energetically cleanse myself for like a week after that um angel divine how are you doing you came on just as things were going you want to chat a little bit or it's been a long while since I've seen you are you there she's probably on the beach heather 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 did you want to come on Hi, everybody. Um, yeah, that was amazing. Uh, thank you, everybody. That was that was really powerful. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, and thanks, everybody, for helping. Thanks for everybody for coming on. Um, an amazing solstice. This is a, a pretty crazy one. I knew we were going to go on some big mission, but I had no idea that it was going to be anything like this. Yeah, Davina says she can't talk. Oh. She said, I am, but I can't talk. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to end the Facebook live. So thank you everybody on Facebook. We love you. Thanks for helping. Happy solstice. Anybody want to say goodbye to the people on Facebook who are watching? Bye. All right. So Phil, you have the only known recording of this copy. So yeah. I, I, tr I trust it will be on your, on your YouTube because yeah. you're, you're always... Tea time tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Can I just show you my picture of the tree of life? <laughs> oh, cool. That's awesome. <laughs> awesome. That's sweet. Amazing mission, Light Family. That was an amazing mission. Um, but I'm going to go for a quick walk before this thing with Amy. So um, love you all. Thank you so much. An honor to work with you always. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye, Dave. Bye. Thank you, everyone.